Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another late night edition of a watching. We're going to be finishing up the Robocop, the animated series, I think. Only got a couple episodes left, and uh, I can't sleep, so I figured this is the time. The time is now to uh, finish watching Robocop. I've been really enjoying this show from 1988. You know, one of these weird things they used to do. Adult oriented rated R movies would get uh, Saturday morning cartoons. What a, what a time to be alive, honestly. What a wonderful, beautiful time to be alive. So, yeah. We're just going to get right into it, I think. I think we're just going to get into it. Start discussing. Start talking. Been having a great time. All together. All right. Let's do it. Detroit. The near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner Ann Lewis fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line I gotta of duty, say, I really Officer Murphy love the succinctness of this opening. Titanium robotic parts and with computer enhanced motor and sensory It tells you everything you need to know. No fuss, no muss. The ultimate super cop. Robocop. Ding. Rumble in old Detroit. Donald F. Glute. And I assure you, Effendi, that these are the finest in my country. The name we recognize. Series. The absolute state of the art worth an Ayatollah's ransom on the black market. <laughs> Wouldn't care to test it, Effendi. Oh, do not worry. These walls are soundproof. Sure, why not? Yeah, it's the guy that worked on X Men the Animated Series, DuckTales, Sky Commanders, The Transformers, Centurion, G.I. Joe. He's not human. He's Robocop. You are all under arrest for the smuggling, possession, and sale of illegal weapons. You have the right to remain silent. Silent, huh? Let's show this ironclad freak some silent. The discharging of an illegal weapon. Okay, I'm silent. Not another syllable. And the foreign experimental old Detroit. Now in police custody. If you don't have a laser gun. Thanks to that half man, half you're a hack. Law enforcer, Robocop. And you're illegal. On optimistic note, the problem of teen gangs in old Detroit continues to increase. You two did a great job. But cataloging all these weapons is going to take an awful lot of paperwork. And frankly, right now, I don't have the time to deal with all this bureaucratic red tape. Something bothering you, Sergeant Reed? More than just something, Officer Lewis. First off, I'm understaffed. Second, this teen gang problem is getting completely out of control. And third, there's... there's Dirk. Uh, hi, Unc. Ready to go, Unc? The game will be starting in about an hour. Oh, my goodness. It's an important one. Our school is playing against our top rival, Metro South. Even the chief kind of gets an episode. Okay, Chino, I like it. It's here, like a Lethal we'll Weapon 3 vibe. You to Hall, till you're old we know this is going to go bad. Who says there's going to be a next time? Kids Officer caught Russ, in the crossfire. Sir? Oh, the game. Listen, Dirk, I'm sorry, but with all that's going on, I, I just can't leave the station. On top of everything else, I've got to catalog all these experimental weapons. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to go alone. Russ. Will you give my nephew a lift back to the Metro East boarding school? No problem, Sarge. They're a community. Okay, they help each other. Somebody like me anyway. <laughs> somebody like you anyway? What does that mean? We're going to be tackling racism in this episode, like I said. These goddamn street punks. If not for those scuds buses, Scum, us assassins be talking in Metroburg. But the slammers outnumber us three to one. And they got more steel. If we rumble with them now, they zap our Not if we zap theirs first. But what's that babble, Chino? You better not be jiving me, man. Hey, no jive man, JD. I know how we can zap out the slammers. Like totally. Yeah. Using the hottest bad zap weapons in all of old Detroit. The ones rubble fuzz, Glee. Yeah? And how are we supposed to get those weapons, brain boy? Trust me. 
Looks to me like Sergeant Reed and his nephew both have a problem, Murphy. Dirk obviously feels inferior because of his alleged handicap, but I understand Dirk. That is why I must try to help him. Assuming, of course, that he wants to be helped. Differently able people be different. Robocop's a good guy. Hey, Mr. All-American. How come you're sitting out this game? <laughs> Just leave me alone. Aw, oh, come on, Dirky Worky. Don't be so sensitive. Tom and I just came over to keep you company. Are they really giving him shit yeah. just because he's on a crutch? Kind of invalid's week or something? <laughs> nah, I just had a thing for guys with winning personalities and distinguished walks. <laughs> what a mean lady. What a biatch, huh? Murphy, isn't that Dirk over there? Not like our beautiful Lewis. There were 51,337 traffic fatalities last year in this country alone. Be more careful next time, citizen. It's or you school, could be number 51,338. Wait, Dirk. I want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Un couldn't come, so he sent you instead, right? I can't blame him, though. Who wants a kid who's... who's... I came here because I Connor. wanted to, Dirk. On a to crutch? Tell you that you can overcome your handicap. Yeah, fancy words. But I'm the one who's got to wear this leg hardware. What do you know about? I know, Dirk. Come on, you kid. Saved my life, okay? What do you I'm know right about? I owe you for that. Being different. But otherwise, just do like Being everybody else augmented. What do you, you know about it, Robo movie? Dick? No, it is up to him to realize his own worth as a human being. That is something we must all learn for ourselves, right, Lewis? Right, Murphy. It's fucking deep. Hey, Dirk! What's shaking with you, my man? Uh huh? Who's out there? It's Gino! A friend! <laughs> the best friend you'll ever have! I remember. You were at the police station. Right! But hey, the cops said I was innocent, and I was. Why are you here? Got this Tell powder to make you, you feel real good. Friends, Dirk, who don't care Forget about all your worries. Not it's like always the these... buzzers here at Listen. school, or like your uncle. Yeah, and just who are these other friends? When you're Come new on, to man, an area, these are the types. How do I know you're not? You got problems. Hey, Dirk. Disability. Trust me. The bad element. They'll always be there to take you in first, right? Because everybody else kind of wow. ostracizes. The the They're in their little cliques, system. you know. Yeah. So did everyone else. But me and our friends remember. But the sewer dwelling every street down. punks. Every interchange. Open Gino, arms. You still haven't told me just who are these friends. Hey, Durky, welcome to the domain of the assassins. The assassins? You mean the gang? You tricked me, Chino. And gullible me believed you. Hey, why the takeoff, Durky? Uh, don't hurt me, please. I'm handicapped. Hurt you, man? Why do we ever want to hurt a friend? But you're a gang. What else would you want with a guy like me? So we want to give you things, Durky. Things you never got from that Laos House boarding school or from your Uncle Fuzz. Things you always dreamed about, like notoriety, respect. And like being popular. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Durky? Especially with films like Lotus. Mm hmm. Mm. I. Yes, I'd like it fine. We want you to join Temptation. us, Durky. Temptation. Become one of the assassins. After a little initiation, <laughs> initiation, Come on, baby. all you gotta do is zap on down to Metro West Police Station and get us inside the evidence storeroom. So, my friend, you gonna be an assassin or what? Inside the police station? I, uh, I'm not sure I could. I know you could, Dirk. You look like great assassin material to me. Well, um, okay. We don't judge here at I the guess assassins. So. I'll do it. Yeah! <laughs> amazing i never thought it was possible but an entire two weeks have gone by without my having to make a single major repair on you robocop still perhaps a precautionary tune-up would i tell you nothing is wrong 
I am just under a lot of pressure. Sergeant, you can level with me. Okay, Ed. It's Dirk. He's missing from the boarding school. He's been gone since early last night, and I'm worried. Oh I'm afraid God. he's run away. Dirk's a good kid, Sergeant Reed. He'll show up. You'll see. I should have taken him to that ball game. You know, since his parents died, I'm the only family he's got. I shouldn't have let him down. Don't blame yourself. He's a big gotta kid be a father now figure, and can probably yeah. take gotta care make of himself, sacrifices. despite his handicap. I hope you're right. <laughs> they keep and saying that. <laughs> thanks for the concern. <laughs> you are really not worried, Lewis? So I lied. You mean this train still runs? After we fixed it, Durkey. Next stop, Metro West Fuzz Station. <laughs> Whoa. Versatile. Ingenuity. I'm sorry, Dirk, but your uncle's not here. He punched out hours ago. Uh, he did? Yeah, at this hour, we just got a skeleton crew on duty. Even Robocop's asleep. Hey, that's odd, Dirk. You should know your uncle's work schedule by now. Uh, uh right, Lieutenant Hedgecock. I guess I should. Promise I'll remember next time. Hmm. You get it, Dirk. Hmm. Uh, I think so, JD. Yeah, this ought to do it. Hey, JD, presto opreno. Can you bring it? Bust it into a fuzz station. Remember, your uncle's getting what he deserves for dusting you off. This combination had <laughs> better work. Great music, though. I love there it. There they are. That's the evidence room alarm. If there's been a security breach, my SWAT team will handle it. Do it what you can, then let's blast out of here. These teens are serious. I mean, serious business. Oh my gosh. They're kids. How do we fight kids? All right, kids. It's playtime. Let's test out our new toys. Get back. They got those new. Believe it, but Sergeant Reed's nephew was one of them. This will stop those fuzz buzzers. Stop those punks. If they get away with those weapons. Gone. Like they just disappeared. The youths responsible for the Metro West break-in were later identified as members of the Assassins, the second most dangerous teen gang in old Detroit. Positively recognized with the gang was Dirk Reed, the nephew of Metro West's own Sergeant Reed. This no is way, not a good look, Reed. Stolen weapons or no stolen weapons, your SWAT team God is not going to march through the streets like Nazi stormtroopers hunting down the assassins. There. But Reed, Jesus this Christ. is all-out war. Unless you're making an exception because one member of that gang of low lifes happens to be... Correction. Suspected member. SWAT team intervention could severely aggravate the situation. I suggest that Lewis and I handle this one alone. Agreed, Lieutenant. A great tin can man, at least for now. The question is, why would the assassins want such weapons? Bet it's not to rob convenience stores. Probably for the crime, answer, Mr. Robocop. Their arch rivals and become the city's number one teenage gang. You mean a high-tech rumble with the slammers? With those weapons, it'd be a massacre. Which is why we must go to the Slammer's territory and attempt to prevent this massacre. JD, please listen to me. You can't go through with this. Somebody could get... That's the general idea. It's like the Dirk. Outsiders, If man. I'd have known it'd lead to this, Very I'd never have made friends with you. <laughs> friends? Listen, Crippo. We were never your friends. We used you so we could gleep this hardware from your Uncle Fuzz. All right, get ready to rumble, because we're rolling out to Slammerland. Hey, Slammers, where are you hiding? Under the trash cans with the other vermin? <laughs> I think the Slammers are overrated, JD. Otherwise, they choke. Maybe they got feathers, Chino. Who let anybody drop on their scuzzed out turf? <laughs> your first mistake was strutting your assassin tails into a war zone. That was 
Repo, your last mistake. And wrong, Repo. You're the one who made the mistake. Assassins, stop them! You are in violation of participating in an unlawful assemblage and of the possession by miners of illegal weapons. I suggest you put them down and surrender without resistance, or else... Or else what, Robo-Fuzz? What's getting put down is you! I repeat, surrender now. He's slowing down. The hardware is too tough for him. Let's give him the whole payload! I will say every episode has the same the structure, but if they can which makes Robo sense, Cop, right? Think what they'll do to us. We're out of every here. story is like archetypal in some Lewis. sense, and they kind of just like shift Lewis, genre focuses Murphy, and kind wrong? of moral lessons. Murphy. You know, if you're a kid, you know maybe you don't recognize those patterns. No. But that's no. why it's like exciting and entertaining, and etc. Right? You are all under arrest. I agree. I'm under arrest. Yes, sir. Take me to the can. I'm all yours, Officer Robocop, <laughs> sir. Don't do it, you Robo. Okay, Murphy? They stopped it's me a trap. for a while. It's gotta but be a caused trap. no real damage. Well, here comes our backup. But as usual, they missed all the fun. You mean it's all over? But somebody's got to cart these punks to their new concrete lodgings. Looks like no one was hurt. But what about Dirk? Is he... Dirk, he's right here, Uncle Fuzz. And he'll keep breathing long as you and your copper barber back off and let me zap out of here free and clear. Dirk, this is all my fault. If I'd given you more of my time, been the uncle I should have been. Mm -hmm. Trash the soap opera, Uncle Fuzz. Am I out of here or does Dirky do his big fade out? Just say the word, Sergeant, and I'll... No, Lieutenant. All right, you're free to go. Just please, please don't hurt him. Just don't try and follow us. And maybe I won't. I wonder why they just didn't, like, make him we his son. In on him. We may never get another chance to nail that gang leader. I mean, why never have that kind of abstraction of the JD uncle? JD sold us out. So maybe, maybe we should I return the favor. We can help you find that mutant. Don't move, Doctor. And maybe you'll survive this ride. And just where do you think you could go, Mr. Big Shot Gang Leader? To the end of the line, Durkey. Out of this crummy city and away from the Metro West Police. According to Chino, those sewers connect with the city's abandoned subway system. The computers at headquarters should provide data on the subway. But those are just maps, and the subway system spreads under the whole city. That train could be anywhere. I'm not even kidding. I would buy this soundtrack on vinyl tomorrow Murphy, if I could. They're headed toward the end of the line. It's that's been rad. I know. OCP is building a new facility there. That means that the subway track may already have been removed. It won't be long now, Durkey. And who knows? I may just keep you around for a while, just in case. No way, JD. The ride's ended here and now. What the? Give me that weapon. Target, triple. You jerk! You ruined the control of the train for a while. Nothing can stop it. We're gonna be total. You can't do this! It's suicide! Wrong! It's my job! Fuck yeah, Robocop. No compromise. He just goes for it. He doesn't care. You're right this out alone, Darky! Even though he's only part man, he's all integrity. A robo man of integrity.
think about it. How is Dirk? Is he a... Dirk is alive, but his legs are crushed beyond medical repair. Mm -mm. Then Dirk will never walk again? There may be one chance. Well, I've done Robo what I can, Sergeant Reed. The rest is up to Dirk. Of course, OCP will assume all costs. After all, Dirk did try to save Robocop. Hi. And they say that with these new braces, I'll soon be able to walk and run as good as anybody. Easy, Dirk. It takes practice to get used to them. Take it from me. Dirk, uh, there's a big game yeah. today out in the sports arena, and, uh... Let's do it, Unc. But soon I'm gonna be playing instead of just watching. You know what else? When I get older, I'm going to be a policeman. All right, you might have you an unfair like advantage now. Sort of, Officer Lewis, but actually, more like my uncle, Sergeant Reed. Simply the best, better than all the rest. What a wonderful episode. What a beautiful episode. A beautiful message. Oh, my goodness. So now... This next one up. Uh, where was it? Ha. So this next one's called A Robot's Revenge. This is, I believe, episode 10. So we got 12 episodes. So we got three episodes left. Exciting, but also sad. Also a little, you know, a little melancholy. Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which invests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Oh, God damn, I love that open. Okay, Robots Revenge, written written by John Shirley, another staple of the series. <laughs> My creation has him on the run. The Ed 260A has more power, weapons, and intelligence than the old one. Yeah, this guy's like Ninja Turtles. He wrote on the Crow, the Specialist. Red on the crow, very serendipitous in terms of what we've been streaming lately. So. But one of these days, the Ed 260 series wow. is going to have its revenge on the real Robocop for all those humiliations of the past. Perhaps sooner than you'd think. Who are you? And how the devil did you get in? This is a restricted testing lab. I am Abu Zidal. This gentleman is Ali Gan, but he is better known by a sort of nickname, Hope Crusher. If you have any hope of calling for help, he has already oh, crushed crusher. it. The guards are quite unconscious. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. You were working here as a technician. It was a good cover. I was able to learn about the capabilities of the Ed 260A. Now I must insist that you turn control of the machine over to me. Forget it. No one gets near that machine but me. I don't care what you threaten me with. You were saying, Dr. McNamara. I was saying he's all yours. Now that it's activated, it's controlled by voice command, correct? Uh, yes. Except for certain attack modes. I suppose you plan to steal it and sell it to your own country. Not at all. I plan to use it right here to destroy a certain man. And to get to that man, I need a machine that can destroy his bodyguard, Robocop. Destroy Robocop? <laughs> Maybe every cloud does have a silver lining. Never! We will never give up the Blighted Desert. You think you can what? just keep all your troops into Blighted Desert and get away with it? What troops? What are you talking about? We heard it from Gravia. Their spies told us you Arcanians have moved troops into Blighted Desert. You should not trust what Gravia says. They like us to go to war. You are fools to believe them. You're calling me fool? Gentlemen, please. Let's <laughs> use reason. It's like kind of pretty heavy stuff for a kid's show. I mean, this is like a. Protecting a couple of politicians. It's like what they're talking about in one of the Timothy Dalton, James Bond movies. I can't remember which one. We don't want the blighted desert, except we'd like permission to send oil trucks over it. Nothing more. Oil trucks? Hmm. 
I think that would be all right. Perhaps we can reach oh, an agreement. Just a misunderstanding. I, president to get approval for this plan. I don't know if I believe. I don't know if I trust Officer this guy. Lewis, he seems like a shady character. To know that you are guarding me. It, it is? Indeed, yes. What an unusual woman you are. So strong and yet so feminine. <laughs> so attractive. So I attractive, am? yes. You are like my palace. Beautiful as well as protective. Oh, you're very kind, Prince Soros. Not at all. It is you who are so kind to see to my protection. I must return to my work. Until we meet again. Ah. Oh. Now that's a real gentleman. They don't make them that charming in this country. He should not allow himself to be distracted from his work. Why, Murphy, I believe you're jealous. Jealous? Nonsense. I am programmed for police work, not romance. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Stop, or I'll... Nothing must stop this unit from reaching its target. Enter the building and search for the prince. They must not sign that peace agreement. Instructions understood. Search and destroy. Now, let me see here. It says, being an agreement of peaceful conduct between the nations of Argenia and Zokistan this day. Every... Yes, 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 yes. This appears to be an order. I am getting a transmission from the outer guards. We are under attack. Under attack? What treachery is this? Stay close to Soros. I will investigate. Good idea. I hope. I like how they make Robocop a diplomat. He's not just a street cop, you know? He's a diplomat. You will have There's to get nothing he Robocop won't do for justice. Destroy him. A precise shot should deactivate it. It has been redesigned. It is not vulnerable in the same place now. Excuses, excuses. Face it, a cyborg can't shoot worth beans. Get out of the way, Robocop. Let me handle this. Hey! Uh, maybe we ought to stay out of this for now. Let's bring the limmer around for the sheik. We'll get him out of here. to think come on the limo's waiting let's get this guy somewhere safe he's right for once we better take you to the no i must know who is responsible for this outrage wait don't go out there <laughs> It's so weird how, I mean, I guess it makes sense kind of from this crew, this writing crew, like, like G.I. Joe and Transformers. It's like kind of a little bit of weird, like, world affair propaganda stuff in here. I mean, beyond the whole, like, the, the police propaganda stuff. I'm tired of playing along with your silly... It's so, it's strange how specific it is. This is 1988, you know? And this was a trend at the time, you know? These kinds of villains, they would show up a lot in action movies and stuff. So they really do pull from the genre, but it also seems... I don't know, I, I, I wonder where they... Why they go in the directions they do sometimes, you know? I'd have to revisit... I kind of revisit some old, like, G.I. Joe and stuff to kind of un maybe get a better understanding. Of Lewis is trapped. Run, maybe Lewis. some broader context of how they would build stories out. Because I'm not really sure on it. You know? But this is something I would love to see, like a documentary that was maybe just like of all of these kinds of cartoons, like you know, the like the Rambo one, this one, GI Joe. I will be all right, Lewis. Protect the prince. Hang in there, Murphy. We must get you both safely away from here. 
I refused to ride with the Sheik. He sent that killing machine after me. Death to Argeni, it said. Hail Zakostan, it said. This Zakostani planned this summit as a trap to kill me. Switching to Hydrolarch Escape Mode. Open fire! Quick! Into the car! You two of us! Destroy the target! <laughs> Got it! More firepower does the trick every time! Look out! Being followed the prince! Get away from this rebel! Resume search for primary target. Ha! I got it on the run! That's another theme of the show, like all the cops, all the good guys have laser guns. All the bad guys have like what looks like real guns. They did that to soften the edges. Like, oh, it's a kid's show. The good guys have laser guns. Acknowledged. Pursuit initiated. Hitchcock should have gotten us a chopper, not a limo. The traffic's heavy and the hotel's across town. This could take a while. <sighs> At least we have escaped. And At least we have thanks to you. each you other. Saved my life. Oh, it was just, uh, just in the line of duty. Oh, <laughs> what a woman. Modest, too. And even in that uniform, your earthy charm is very appealing. Uh, thanks, <laughs> I guess. This guy's got the same moves I have. Perhaps we could have more than just a bodyguard relationship. <laughs> Mildly rapey. I, I don't know what to say. I guess they, they just don't respect women over there. They're like, no, you are mine. Uh, I put my arm around you. Take it easy, Robocop. You've sustained some systems. You come home with me tonight. Most of the kinks Officer Lewis, no, eh? Further adjustments, Doctor. I have a job to finish. But, oh, there's still too much human stubbornness left in him. Perhaps you could take a small vacation from police work. Fly with me to Organia. Visit my palace. Me? I I mean, well, I I don't know. How can you talk of romance at a time like this? Someone has sabotaged our peace talks and is trying to kill us. Do you think to deceive me? I heard what the robot said. Hell Zokistan! But Prince Soros, someone else could have a motive for trying to destroy the peace accord. You are naive, my dear. Zokistan sent the robot to destroy me. Then I must have sent it to destroy me, too! Because it's coming to attack us! Our choppers have located the Ed-260 again, and it's dog in the limo with the prince in it. Let's go get it, man. We've got some heavy artillery now. Hey, where are you going, Tin Man? Afraid to face your robot buddy again? I am staying here to follow up on a lead, Lieutenant Hedgecock. Yeah, right. Who needs you anyway? Come on, man. Hey, maybe that machine does have some human qualities. Like cowardice. <laughs> Hickok, you son of a bitch. You bastard. You want to tell me why you're not out on assignment? I compute a 30% better probability of success if I do the job this way. What way is that? Find out who is behind the, the attack Robocop and way. At the source. The smart way. The transmission controlling the robot. To the OCP testing center. The <gasps> center is run by Professor McNamara. Gas. The robot is his design. You're going to break into the files on McNamara's computer? I am already in. There it is. The flaw in its armor. Prince Soros is targeted for destruction. All others must clear the area or die with him. Move it. Let's ace that sucker. You think they could prom program it to like not announce what he's doing? Yeah. There it is. The crack in its armor. The flying cop car. Jesus Christ. I had that Shit thing rocks. run and RoboCop had to come and steal my thunder. Shit rocks. Another new design ruined, and it's all RoboCop's fault. He stops me at every turn. Uh, but there's one thing he hasn't reckoned on. Well, what is it? You have another weapon? What I have behind that door will stop him. 
I'd like to go with you to check out the source of those transmissions, Murphy, but the old man said I gotta stick close to the prince. As close as possible. I might need your help, Louis. Your place is working with me. It's not like you to argue with the old man's decisions, Murphy. Something bothering you? No. Such a cold, passionless machine you must work with. How do you relate to this steel man? Sometimes I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on, we'd better get you to the hotel. When you are so warm and so human. And this man made of machine. He is no good for you. I have insufficient data to explain this. He's trying to maneuver it into position so he can destroy it like the other. He might be able to destroy one of them. But two of them will surely destroy him. Two of them had no way to get past their armor. But if it cannot see me, it cannot hurt me. I had no idea you had two more fighting robots, McNamara. You did the right thing to tell me about them. Does that mean you'll let me go? <laughs> Don't be absurd. You're a valuable commodity. We'll smuggle you back to Grabia and put you to work for us. As your prisoner? Of course. I know I'm gonna hate myself for this later. Mm -hmm. What happened to it? Why did it stop? I don't know. Robocop must have hit its power supply. If you ask me, we ought to lock up this guy right here. That killer robot spoke out loud and clear about who it was working for. Come on, Lieutenant. Be more tactful. The you fix could start a war with that kind of talk. But who else would do such a thing? Isn't there anyone else besides Zakistan who might benefit if there was a war? Yes, perhaps. Perhaps Grabia might benefit. It's a neighboring country that is a big competitor in oil sales. But how... Robocop's running into some trouble at the OCP testing center, Lieutenant. He could use some backup. Send somebody else. I'm too busy guarding the dignitaries here to look after that Frankenstein's monster. Suit yourself, Lieutenant. But I'm gonna help Murphy. Like, what does Robocop gotta Lewis. do? Hey, that's an what does Alexander Murphy right gotta here. do to earn you the trust of these order, people? Lieutenant. Series take place over a week? Busy week. You are all under arrest. Save me, Robocop. I'm their prisoner. They're responsible for this. If that is true, you will be released. Delay him as long as you can. I've got a job to do at the hotel. Halt! No systems damage. Proceed with assignment. I must reassess this opponent's capabilities. What are you doing? You're not programmed for martial arts. I know. Target located. Destroy Cyber Unit. Complete programming. Now. You said it, big boy. Look at this. Another brilliant invention. Ruined. If you didn't want us to break it, you shouldn't have let us play with it. You're under arrest, McNamara. Oh, hold it, it wasn't me, I tell you. It was this lunatic Zindal from Grabia. He took me prisoner and set up the whole thing. Voice stress test indicates he is telling the truth. I'll tell you something else. If you want to stop an assassination, you'd better get over to the hotel. Abu Zindal is on his way there to get Prince Soros. Yeah, we're on our way. McNamara, maybe you're not so bad after all. <laughs> There's really no need to insult me. I can't get through to the hotel. I am the secretary to the ambassador from Zakistan. My identification. Robo music. Okay, I guess. Come on, Time to score rocks. Your assistant, Sheik. It's fucking good. I have good. never seen this man in my life. What? Stop him! He's an assassin! Hey, Zakistan! 
He almost looks like the villager from uh, Temple of Doom. I understand. Not same nationality or ethnicity. Just his face. Not this time. You go to old Detroit but City. I don't get it. Why would this guy you hire Dr. McNamara, and, and he kills him with the N269. control of the world's oil market. If Zokistan and Argania go to war, they'll attack each other's oil reserves and refineries. Forcing OCP and other companies to buy their oil from Gravia. They can then quadruple the prices. Exactly. So that's why Gravia sent Zindal to stop our peace conference, the heathen dogs. Our two countries must stick together to stop this treachery of Grabia. Let us sign the peace treaty immediately. I'm almost sorry the danger is over, and the treaty has been signed. But it means losing you as my bodyguard, Officer Lewis. Well, mm. thanks. But I do not have to lose you. If you will return with me to my palace and marry me. What? She is needed in Detroit. Ah, but she is ah, needed in our Gambia jealousy. Too. How wonderful to have a wife who is not only sweet and charming, but a marvelous bodyguard. Well, <laughs> I if I had some time to think about it... You are actually considering this offer? What if I am? I'm not just a cop. I'm a woman, too. Or haven't you noticed? I mean, to be this a is a children. This was for kids. How many women get an offer to marry someone? Someone like Prince Soros. Even if it means giving up there's like a, a subtext to, to some of the episodes it. where she, Lewis has the hots have if you'd for Murphy. Company? Has the hots for what Robocop. Company? She even tries to take him out to a fancy Why, dinner. Other wives, of course. Other wives? Uh-oh. Yes. In my country, Mom, a prince is expected to have many wives. Well, don't count on me to be one of them. That's what Lewis, changes her mind. American women. That's the thing that so stops her. Lovely, but so hard to understand. <laughs> I heard that. He's like, you could have been part of his harem. <laughs> I am a cyborg. Cyborgs do not laugh. No, and they don't get jealous either, do they? I was not jealous. I was merely concerned about losing a good police officer. Uh-huh, sure. We must go now, Officer Lewis. We have work to do. How do you stop, yeah, Lewis? Yeah, it's always just work with you. You gotta learn to loosen up a little, Murphy. There's more to life than just police work. There it is. A decent episode. Uh, not my favorite. I would say the front half of the series has been overall. The overall has been the stuff I'd enjoy. I enjoyed the most and I thought was the most RoboCop-esque. Like, it's like they were finding their feet. They kind of were, but they were pulling a lot from the show or the movies themselves. They were actually like the themes and the, the kind of topics they were discussing. And then they've kind of broadened it out a little bit. Although, even even having said that, much more like mature themes. Like they're they're making just like dramas for kids. They're not even... Really pulling punches or or anything like that. It's just like the structure, the characters, the scenarios. Uh, they're just making dramas. And this is something I think the, the people that wrote this were actually pretty good at. Because, um, you know, a lot of these people, they also wrote like, they wrote on X-Men the Animated Series, Spider-Man the Animated Series, G.I. Joe, um, Transformers. Like, they're, they're, they're just like kind of well-crafted story storytelling it's just like it's a little bit above what you expect from like kind of children's fair right because this is for like you know probably the target audience is like people like boys from the age of 7 to 14 you know uh, so now we're going to be checking out episode 11 into the wilderness our penultimate episode here Let's see what we got here do 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 um, who wrote Into the Wilderness? Roger Slafer, another guy. He did G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe the Movie, Jam, Robocop, Bucky O'Hare, G.I. Joe Extreme. Uh, he actually even worked on Yu-Gi-Oh, apparently, adapting some of the manga. Uh, he did TV series. He created the character Lobo. Is that what I'm getting from this? I think he might have. Um, yeah, interesting. Young Justice League. Justice League Action, Superman of Tomorrow. 
he has a credit. I think he has a credit because Lobo's in that. But uh, yeah, let's continue on. Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner Ann Lewis fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Yeah. These love birds. Well, here I am going to Los Angeles to demonstrate Robocop to the LAPD. Soon, versions of my creation will be fighting crime in LA and who knows how many other cities. Don't count on it, Tyler. Soon, OCP's new team of cops, the Ultra Police, will be ready for action. At least they're men instead of machines. Murphy's not just a machine, he's a man. Stop talking about him as if he isn't here. He ain't here, at least not all here. <laughs> he's only half a man now. Oh, don't pay any attention to them. Do you remember what Detroit looks like from the air? Even with my optic sensors, it is hard to see through the smog. It is so thick. <laughs> Murphy, check this out. It's beautiful. Very green. What's going on? We got an environmental episode. What's wrong? I don't Perfect. Know. We're always having problems with this X-41 model. I can fix it. I blew a model like this during the cybernetics wars. Sir, please, sir. There's been a lot of changes please, since that uh, early model. Nonsense. A plane's a plane. Hedgecock, are you all right? I'm fine. But the plane is going down. We're going to have to bail out. I must help the pilot. He has been injured. What's the matter? Be a man about it. Jump! Ah! Murphy, I'll help you. Uh, no, go. My body armor protects me. Are you sure? Go. I don't know what you are, but you look like you could use some help. Lewis? I did it! I woke you up! I'm used to fixing up bugs hurt by poachers from the city, but this is the first time I ever fixed a cyborg. Where Sorry. am I? Who are you? I'm Claire. You're in I my saw cabin. it all. And who are you? I saw my your name is junk. Murphy, but I am known as Robocop. Robocop? I've heard of you. Weren't you built by OCP in Detroit? Yes. <laughs> I should contact OCP to let them know I survived. I don't have a busy communicator. Besides, let's make sure you're all right first. It's gonna be Can like misery are? with yes, Robocop. See, that would be awesome. Let's turn into misery with Robocop. Welcome to the world as it used to look. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? I... Love I cannot nature. recall ever seeing anything like this. How did you find me in such a wilderness? I'm an environmental biologist. Finding and helping endangered oh, species yeah. is my job. You looked pretty endangered when I found you. What exactly do you do? I check out the water in the streams. I try to keep animals and plants on the verge of extinction from getting totally wiped out. <laughs> it's a big job. Lewis, give it up! We've been searching all day. We all saw the plane crash. Robocop's dead. He's gone to that great junkyard in the sky. We don't know anything for sure till we find the plane, and I'm not stopping till we do. Lewis is right. Damn it. OCP spent a fortune on this project, and we're not going to write it off until we find the remains. Not happening. There are few places like this left on the Earth for us to enjoy, and even this is being threatened. By what? 
I found a problem in the Eastern Sector. You must show me. Tomorrow. For now, I just want to enjoy this. Look! There it is! Murphy! Murphy! I told you he was dead. Dead? He isn't even here. Then he's alive! Alive! That's odd. He doesn't show up on the tracker. The homing device must have been damaged in the crash. Look! These Tire evil environmentalist tracks. women. Someone's taken him! Come on! Taking his We've crackers! Hold on, Hotshot. It's almost dark. I'm telling what you'll find out there. I think we ought to camp out here tonight. Build a fire. I agree. A very big fire. We'll continue to search first thing in the morning. This is the area I was telling you about. They are all dead. Exactly. The water is full of PCBs. The concentrations are even higher than the last time I checked. If the contamination isn't stopped, it's going to destroy the entire area. Where is it coming from? I'm not sure. Someplace further upstream. I will help you locate its source. Look! What is it? I don't know, but it's wrecking the environment. We've got to stop them. It's owned by OCB, your bosses. Now what are we going to do? Hey, boss, that's five acres today. Productivity is picking up, huh? Yeah, this Ravager really does the job. It'll do the work in a tenth the time. <laughs> you did tell the old man that was my idea. We could idea, destroy this you? forest and we could I'm achieving build Kmart. You'll soon be working for me. <laughs> Dream on, Ralphie boy. OCP doesn't put nerds in executive positions. Are you in charge of this operation? Ralphie, Walmart. Him? Yeah, him. Who or what wants to know? I am Robocop. You must shut down this plant immediately or face severe civil and criminal penalties. Yeah. Robocop? I heard of you. You're way out of your jurisdiction here, bub. This ain't Detroit. Then you refuse to comply? Go back to the city where you belong, Metal Mouth. I got work to do here. <gasps> you are under arrest. I am taking you to the local authorities. This is crazy! Wait till the old man hears about this! You can call him from downtown. Yeah. Don't worry about a thing. I can handle the operation yeah. while you're gone. Shut down this plant immediately to avoid further violations. Oh, absolutely, sir. But <laughs> we don't want to break the law. Yes. There was a creepy robot cop here. He says we have to shut down. He even took Ed. It must be Robocop. We wondered what happened when we lost contact with his plane. But this is unacceptable. He mustn't be allowed to disrupt an OCP operation. Restrain him till I can get some men up there to bring him back to Detroit. It's already been taken care of, sir. What's that? No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. We gotta get up in the trees. The trees are our only chance. The trees, the trees! Please help me up! OCP playing both sides. Private security. State security. And the fingers and a lot of pies. It seems. Jesus Christ. systems are still functioning. It's not over yet. Ralph's crazy. He wants my job. He's always wanted my job. I see that now. He won't stop till we're all dead. And I need my recharging chair, but it's in Detroit. No, I know. There's a dam not far from here. They have hydroelectric dynamos. Maybe we could... Build a makeshift power source. It might be feasible. What about him? It is me they are after. He is safer if he is not around me. We will leave him. You should stay behind, too. No way! I got you into this mess. Besides, you need me to lead you to the dam. Uh, all right! Freeze! <sighs> Look, 
Looks like those tire tracks led us right to an empty cabin. Mm -hmm. Good work, Lewis. Oh, only a little farther. How are you doing? I have only 25% of my energy reserve left. Oh, no! No! It's that thing we saw in the logging camp! It's coming after us! What are we gonna do? It's like uh, the smog from Fern Gully. Tim Curry's smog is taking over. You can run this as mechanical fast as you beast. Want, but you can never escape the Ravager. Ah! Robocop! Gotcha! Behind those rocks! Oh my what? god. Where does the cavern lead? There are lots of exits. I think there's one near the dam. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Aha! The moles have surfaced. Are you sure you're okay? It's only a little farther. Dudes rock. You can robo dudes rock. I mean, come on. It reminds me of a, a mission in Metal Gear Solid 5. You have to run for Metal Gear. Robocop need to breathe? That's a good question. until whoever took him returns. You're just afraid you're gonna break another high heel. <sighs> Neither of you care about Murphy at all. Uh, are you friends of Murphy's? Yes! You've got to help me. He's been captured. I think, I think he may even be dead. Where is he? I'm not sure, maybe at the logging site. Let's go. so proud of me who put me in charge of this operation. You are in possession of a valuable piece of OCP property. You are to turn it over to me immediately. So you can take credit for capturing him? No way. Robocop's my ticket to the top. There he is. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? His circuits are still engaged, but his power supply is virtually spent. We've got to get him back to the dam and rig up a way to recharge him. That's my department. I don't want you missing him up. You can't do this. I deserve the credit. Stay out of our way. Lewis, the Ravager could still be dangerous. I'll take care of it. You can't do this. Watch me. Are you crazy? Hey, 
Jurassic Park. Oh my god. Steven Spielberg, you goddamn thief. Although maybe these, these guys are just good at what they do, like the structure of these things, how to frame stuff, Ocon Animation Studios, and South Korea. Savvy folks. I don't want to stop you. I just want to watch. Just as I thought. They're heading back to the dam. Hurry! It won't take him long to find us. Can't hurry, genius. This has to be done right or it won't revive him at all. Will it work? I hope so. Throw the switch. Little Frankenstein action. Like when you got a good, I was so a good charger cord versus when you don't. Stand back. I will handle him. We can't let him just take him. We won't. This time, Robocop, I won't rescue you. I've been waiting a long time for this. Murphy, it's remote controlled. There must be some cameras on it so the operator can see you. Affirmative, Officer Lewis. Well. The entire mechanism's gone wow, dead. The Ravager's like been a, destroyed. Robocop got away. A soulful hug. I'll never get my promotion now. There, there, Ralph. Lewis is a hoe. There's always a next time. <clears throat> the old, I mean, welcome, sir. Hedgecock, would you leave us alone, please? Yes, sir. Why you I told you, do you to restrain him, not to try and kill him. You almost destroyed one of OCP's most valuable products. I ought to fire you. That's by You're your absolutely speed. right. I told you he doesn't have the best interests of the company at heart. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but you always taught us to show initiative, sir. Well, you really did take charge and run with the ball, son. Therefore, <laughs> I'm giving you a promotion to chief foreman of this project. A what? Teacher. That conniving little weasel? Be silent, Edwards. Ralph saw there was a problem and took steps but, to solve it. But, sir, I, I don't know what to say. I, will there be a raise involved? Don't push your luck. Oh, uh, no, sir. Anything you say, sir. Good. Then it's all settled. Oh, of course, Ralph, there is one small drawback to your new assignment. What's that, sir? Robocop's the best cop in the nation. He won't rest until you serve a prison term for destroying the environment. Me? But, <laughs> sir, that's what you wanted. You authorized this entire operation. Now. I'm sure you won't find one shred of He's like the uh, like the boss and um your signature however is Team on America. every one of those authorizations. But but that's because Edwards never signed anything himself. Ah, Edwards. He always was a good company man. I'm sure there's something for him back at the head office. Sir, there is a criminal here in need of apprehension. Here's your man, son. But I I Cheer up, Ralph. Once you get out, you'll still have a good 20 years with the corporation. Officer Lewis, would you take charge of the prisoner, please? How long is he gonna to Murphy. go to jail oh, for this? We'll see you back in Detroit, sir. Now look, son. You interfered in something today that was none of your concern. Oh, Ordinarily, goddamn for that, business. you deactivated Alexander. put out of service. But you saved my life once, and for that I'm grateful. Therefore, I'm going to forget 
this little incident, but we're even now, and I don't ever want you to interfere in OCP affairs again. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I am never again to interfere with an OCP operation, and I will not, unless OCP once again breaks the law. You are OCP product. You will do as you're told. Correction, sir. I am a policeman. It is my duty to protect the innocent and uphold the law. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, so... Detroit. This is the last episode of the series. It's called Menace of the Mind. Uh, this one is directly connected directly connected to the original original film because like this came out before robocop 2 so they were just going off of robocop 1 when they made this series like so for the tone and stuff like that that's kind of what it's pulling from uh clarence boddicker the sadistic criminal who shot officer alex j murphy which led to alex's current state of being a man in a machine known as robocop has reappeared can murphy bring himself to arrest him and not kill him Kind of excited to hear to hear what goes on here. And see, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious what they're going to do with this and how directly it's going to relate to Robocop. Obviously, in this universe, he doesn't blow Boddicker away in the same way that he does in uh, the movie. So it'll be cur- it'll be interesting. Let's see what the animated uh, world's got to say. Right. The near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner Ann Lewis fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal Last time we're going to see this intro. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Another victim of the so-called zip-chip collars was reported today in a suburb of old Detroit. Jimmy Collins, age 12, was found unconscious in his bedroom by his parents. It appeared that his mind had been totally burnt out from wearing a zip-chip collar. His parents said they bought the collar three weeks ago to help Jimmy catch up with his schoolwork. That's... No one had informed them of the danger these collars <laughs> okay. present to those That's who wear pretty them. Good. The zip-chip collar is being produced and distributed illegally in the city. Thus far, the police have been unable to trace their source nor to discourage people I mean, from purchasing taking it. More like Dramatic the collar reportedly cr- speeds up the synapses with this, of the that's brain, a very like mind to function Robocop as efficiently as a computer. Element, right? a collar Despite you the put on your involved, kids this to makes help the collar them with discipline to many business people and school education feel they school. need this competitive edge. That's Stay very Robocop. Dudes. Ever seen one of these? With these you can ace the finals and still have time to party. Oh, I gotta have one. It's my only hope for passing. You can come on command. A key component of the collar is a biomicrochip manufactured by Omni Consumer Products, or OCP. As you can see from this taped interview, the president of OCP denies having any official connection with the collars. Sir, isn't it true that these so-called zip chips are manufactured by OCP Industries? No comment. And isn't it true that OCP refuses to stop producing these microchips because to do so would cut into their revenues in aerospace and other profitable divisions? No comment. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Irrefutable proof that the OCP puts profits over people. What's going on? I thought the police were going to handle this matter. We're working on it, sir. Well, work harder. Our microchips. They have a lot of legitimate uses, but this unauthorized use is threatening OCP's reputation as a benevolent corporation. As a what? I mean, we've received a tip, sir. We're going to be moving against them tonight. You just better stop them, because if you don't, OCP will. What the fuck does that mean? What is OCP going to do? Do they extrajudicial? Do they like... How about it, Murphy? Do you see anything? Do their own thing, I guess. No sign of any unauthorized vessel that could be the bio microchip thieves. Negative, Sergeant Reed. Wait. Aerial craft rapidly approaching at Mach 5 speed. Mach 5? I don't see anything. That's ah, probably just a smudge on his visor. Whoa! Look out! Oh, 
<laughs> Look, a welcoming committee. This should be fun. All units, return fire! <laughs> Do your worst, Scars Fuzz. What's that thing made of? Now it's my turn. Officers are still in the hospital recuperating. Robocop at the bottom What's of the, the old Detroit Robocop? Lake. Is he? We don't know yet, son. Dr. Tyler is still he's trying full to of determine water. if he's salvageable. Hot water. The chairman of OCP is here to tell us about a new OCP undertaking designed to assist us against this new threat in Robocop's absence. <clears throat> Thank you, Sergeant Reed. Gentlemen, as you know, those bio microchip thieves represent a great menace to society. Their insidious perversion of OCP's bio-microchips is destroying the minds of thousands of innocent victims every day. And with their new super-powered aircraft, they far outgun our current police forces. But this is a battle we cannot afford to lose, and we won't lose! Because starting today, the Detroit police will have their own ultra-weapons. Ultra-weapon number one, Ace Jackson, former Green Beret, the world's greatest <laughs> munitions expert. Ultra weapon number two, Wheels Wilson, straight from the Motor City Speedway, and as you can see, is also very proficient with a bazooka. Pretty impressive. And finally, Definitely. ultra weapon number three, someone who should be an incredible asset in this particular case, Third Man Barnes. He's the leader of our team, with several thousand hours of combat flight experience. Each man and his machine is equipped with complete surface armor. Mark my words, this is an assault team that will always get their man. Welcome, gentlemen, your new allies, the Ultra Police. My bad. Hey, at least they're real men. They're not just machines. What is it? What's wrong with him? I don't know. I replaced his damaged arm and circuitry, but he's still not reviving. It's almost like he's in a coma. I bet you don't think I'm a very nice person. I think you're scum. <laughs> Murphy, what is it? What is going on here? Like, that's pretty intense for a children's program. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Fun's over. Murphy! It's okay. It's okay, it's okay Murphy. Murphy. It's me, Lewis. Come out of it. It's gonna be okay. Officer Lewis, I, uh, I have recovered. Uh, thank you for your concern. Murphy, <laughs> you're all right. Yes, but you seem to be in need of a good crisis therapy ward. <laughs> I think he's back to normal. No. Known fugitives are at large. They must be brought to justice immediately. Not till I've run some more tests. No time for tests. Murphy! Wait up! What's the rush? Robocop, wait! 
If you're determined to get back to active duty, at least let me help you find those criminals. How can you help? This way. I was hoping to run a few more tests, give it to you in a month or so. But this crisis can't wait. So I present the Robocopter. It's beautiful. Fight fire with nuclear energy, I always say. It does <laughs> appear to be a formidable craft. Formidable? Why, this is equipped with the most state-of-the-art equipment imaginable. On your left are the controls for the infrared scanners. Next to them... Your details are unnecessary, Dr. Tyler. I will obtain all the information I need by interfacing directly with the copter's on-deck computer. I understand now. Yes, this aircraft will suit my purpose well. Now, if you will stand back, there are criminals who must be apprehended. Definitely a superior craft. Okay, Murphy, it's just you and me now. Definitely so a superior it. soundtrack. I am in pursuit of some dangerous Real criminals. Nice. Come on, Murphy, you know what I mean. You seem to be obsessed with capturing these guys. They oh, I wonder why, Lewis. According to my Don't be obtuse. Murphy, I'm your partner. I know you better than that. Does it have something to do with your nightmare in Tyler's lab? When I was hanging onto the supercraft, I saw the face of the criminal. It was Clarence Boddicker. Boddicker? The man who shot you when you were still... Human. That's right, Lewis. Ha, cha, cha, cha. It was our first case together. We tracked them to their warehouse hideout. I got the drop on two of them. But the others were waiting. They had already overcome you. I was outmaneuvered. And outgunned. The next thing I saw was Tyler. My limbs had been severed. My previous life was over. Forever. No wonder you had a nightmare. Murphy, <laughs> are yeah. you turning this into a personal sure. vendetta? Boddicker is once more terrorizing the innocent. He must be brought to justice. We'll get him, Murphy. And then let the courts administer the punishment he deserves. Right? Get too cocky, Wheels. We're gonna do this by the numbers. Ah, you worry too much. There it is. Hold your positions. I'm on my way. Copy, Birdman leader. Copy that, but no dice. <laughs> oh, this sucker's moving too fast. Wilson, hold off till I get there. That's an order. Wilson! Super cops are here. Oh, no. Time to show this nap when he's up again. Wilson! Thanks, Birdman. No problem. Next time I'll be ordered. Ace, see if you can knock them down before they're gone. I'm ahead of you. <laughs> Looks like the Nat has a big brother. It's like Let's an episode of G.I. Joe. Nah, this is too much fun. Eat Sidewinder, tough guy. Interesting choices in terms of how to like communicate <laughs> things and what they too cut easy. to and like the We're invincible. Invincible. I don't know the quarter screen stuff. Okay, flyboy, time for you to take some of your own medicine. <laughs> Circling. 
pulling back. He's coming in too fast. You don't like me very much. Well, you're about to like me a lot less. <laughs> saving my life. I was just doing my duty. Yeah, maybe so, but I thought the three of us could fill your shoes. Boy, was I wrong. Listen, if there's anything we can ever do for you... You can help me find Bodiger. It's called Respect. And now they have it. My chopper repaired in time for this. These little beauties are better than gold. <laughs> There's bark collars. People! Scratch one rotten assembly line. Over there, it's Boddicker! What is that? Oh, that cavalry's arrived! Big violent film stand, I guess. He's getting it on us. I thought you said nothing else could fly this fast. Shut up. We'll lose him in the city. Here he 
enemy comes. What's gonna do? What's he gonna do? Will he be able to contain himself? Please! I think so. Don't! Give me a break! <laughs> I bet you don't think I'm a very nice person. Fun's over. Not Fun's over. Not, but it's not. Fun's over. Over. Murphy, don't! Murphy, you are a cop. No matter what he's done to you, Again, don't let him make you a murderer. This is a children's show. Like dealing with you some kind of some heavy arrest. trauma stuff. You have the right to remain silent. Anything Rising you above it. And will Good be God. Used against you in a court of law. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh, Murphy, I'm so proud of you. I, I was so afraid that... Officer Lewis, I am programmed to enforce the law by legal means. I was perfectly in control the entire time. Or was he? Murphy? I think Lewis probably kicked him over the edge of civility. He's got a man's brain. That's it, everybody. That is the end of the series. It ends on that kind of a note. Wow. Really kind of shows you the potential that was there. Like what they were trying to achieve. You know, maybe what they could have achieved had they been given a little bit more time. Cool show. A cool ass show. I really enjoyed my watch of it, actually, you know? I'd been meaning to watch it for years, never really got around to it. And, uh, finally... Recently, just, you know? Something fun to watch, something fun to do. That was cool. If you have not, uh, seen the rest of the episodes, you can either go look them up on YouTube, or if you check out our About page. Uh, go down, check out uh, w where we are on YouTube. Uh, all of these have been archived, so you can go watch them at your leisure. Um, I'll probably come back in a second, but for YouTube, this is the end of the RoboCop saga. So, stop recording.